He was undefeated prospect, Jalen Walker. First time in Texas, or have you been here before? I've been here before. I uh, fought here at the Nationals. Uh, I have family out here. My mom's born here. But uh, it's good. It's good to be back here. I'm ready. I'm excited. This is, I say, my first professional fight here in Texas, and uh, I'm ready to go. I want to give you full credit. Whenever someone comes in from out of town, to fight a Texan in Texas. You're not just fighting a Texan, yeah. you're fighting the judges too. So yeah. I give you full credit for that. Yeah. I give you full respect for that. That's, yeah. a, that's a fighter's mentality. Yeah. I want to ask you about that. Is there a little extra pressure on you to get a knockout to not let this thing go to the judges? No, no, not at all. You just no, win every round, no you'll pressure. be fine? You can put all the pressure on me. I'm always cool. You know, I'm even killed. You know, my emotions don't go too high, don't go too low. I'm always in a state of sin. So I'm ready to go, I'm on the floor. I'm gonna fight my heart out, I'm gonna show my skills, and I'm gonna dominate. It's your first fight here yeah. uh, with Top Rank. Yes. Uh, officially signed there. there. What, what's that like? And I mean, what, what was that like when you signed that contract with the biggest name in boxing? Uh, one of the best feelings, man. It was like, ah, I'm on my way. You know, uh, Bob Barron promoted fighters like Floyd Mayweather, Oscar De La Hoya, Pacquiao. It's just to be under that banner is pride. It's, it's like a, it's a badge of honor. There's, you're the right promoter at 130 yeah. pounds. They've got a ton of talent. They got a couple world champions. You got Oshaki Forster, uh, Valdez, who just won uh, two weeks ago. Um, is there an, you have your eye on one of them? Is there a, one of those belts that you want to uh, chase? I'm speeding. I'm speeding. All of them. Yeah, I want all of them. Yeah. So you're fighting a Texan, um, a hometown favorite, nicknamed Pork Chop. Everyone in Texas loves him. What do you know about him, and what do you expect to see from him tomorrow? Uh, I don't know too much about him. I watch the film. Um, He's going to put pressure on you. He's yeah, I don't him. like his style. He doesn't seem like a very smart fighter, but I'm from Cali, and I'm used to the pressure. I grew up I grew up in the gyms with Mexicans, so, you know, all my, I had a bunch of Mexican coaches, so Mexican style, so nothing new to me. So I'm ready. He's going to use speed? Use yeah, I'm going to use my speed, but I'm ready. Whatever whatever style, raw, fight. This is your first fight officially signed with, with Top Rank, um, you know, on their roster. You're 12 and 0, 12 and 0, right? Yeah, 12 and 0. 130 pounders is a fun division, uh, a lot of good names. How far off do you think you are from fighting those world champions and those top fighters, and, and um, when do you think that will happen? I would say in this year, pretty sure we're going to step up to a 10 rounder. Around the end of this year and next year, I'll be fighting for a title. I know you don't look pissed at any point. I'm gonna tell you, Pork Chop is a tough guy. I know him well. I followed his whole career. Oh, yeah, you're yeah, not gonna yeah. have. He's not gonna be easy. No, no, no. I yeah. understand that. I understand that. But uh, I believe in myself, and I'm confident, and I'm ready for whatever. Assuming everything does go according yeah. to plan, yo, who do you want to fight next? When do you want to be back in the ring? And, and uh, as soon as possible, maybe May 18th in San Diego, maybe. See, so already, yeah. already something in the back of your head. Already something. Yeah. So you, you're going to stay busy, yeah, stay hopefully busy. get to a world title sometime 2025? Yeah, I'll be 23 at the time. I'm 22 right now. Oh, you're just 22? Yeah. So you're just a baby. You got yeah, a lot I of time ahead of you. Yeah, I 22 uh, January 1st. Yeah. So for those of you who may be seeing you for the first time uh, tomorrow on ESPN, how would you describe your style in the ring? Um, I'm a power boxer. I'm a slick southpaw, but I'm big. I'm a little more aggressive than the average southpaw, but I can fight both ways. And you, you, can, you can tell me what you think of this analogy. I said a South Park Charlo brother. Is that, is that a fair analogy? Would you, would you say that that um, describes your style? I like no disrespect to the Charlos, but I'm a little slicker. Okay. No, I got more like hand movement, but yeah, I'm, Charlo's a world champion, you know, so. so I'm not, yeah, I mean, yeah. I mean full yeah, respect yeah, yeah, by it. Yeah. Okay. yeah, thank you. Yeah. yeah, I'll take that. Thank you. Jayla Walker, look forward to seeing you tomorrow night. Right, uh, big things ahead of you. Tell everyone where they can find you on social media. Uh, you can find me, Jalen underscore Skywalker, on Instagram and on TikTok. And watch my fight Saturday. It's going down here in Texas. Um, the second bout, I should be fighting around 5 p.m. Uh, Texas time, and I'm ready to go, man. God bless you. Thank you.